One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1990 Ford F-350 Crew Cab Dually in the Roll Along Package. This is going to be an interior review, so you've probably already seen the exterior and the most straightforward of the problems, which is BAM! That fender well in the back hip and such. I'm going to do a quick walk around this type of this time of night to where you get a good view of it this time of night. Uh, it's a really good shape, except for the obvious right there in front of us. Um, great truck. Clean, good running. Um, I got it. I put a starter on it. Um, that's all I had to do to it. Um, it is just a nice truck. Roll along package. This is going to be the interior review. You can check out my website, oneownercarguy.com. On there, you can see like 50, 60, 70 pictures of it. And I'll do pretty much everything. Um, beautiful truck. It's in great shape. And it's not a rusty rig. California F350, baby. Okay, so I could have done the headlights. They'd have been a little less orangey. Um, but I didn't do them. Have to buy, you have to buy a kit at Walmart. Roll along package. First off, this pad's coming up a little bit as they do. You can get a new one on eBay, really cheap. Um, some of this weather stripping, I want to say it today in case I didn't yesterday, is cracked. It's starting to crack. Um, piping in the seat. It's a little area where the piping is coming out. I'd clip that off right there, and then it'd be gone. I just left it to show. Actually, you can stuff it back down in there if you want and act like there's nothing wrong, but there is. The piping came out, so whatever. Um, clean, a little bit of wear on the seat. I believe, according to everything, that it's 156 or so, and I believe they've also done a lot of work to it. Um, no wear on the pedals, really. No wear on the floor. Carpet's nice. I didn't even hardly vacuum the thing, man. You can see I could clean this up, and it would clean up nicely. I didn't clean it up very well. Headliner's in good shape. There's a tear right there. And... A little one right there. The piping things on this is going also. Kind of looking a little ragged right there. A little bit of wear on the wheel um, as they get. Starting to get a little discoloration on the foul wood. I'm going to show you around inside first. There is some ropes and things. In here, so there's a Coors Light. That come with the truck. It's all come right with the truck. It's all yours. There's this hitch thing back here. Seven way. Comes with it. Roll along. Has a light odor of kind of um, air freshener. And like maybe there's a little pet smell or something. Um, not really strong or pungent or nothing. I haven't really done anything to get rid of it. Um, I just bought it to sell it, plain and simple. It's in good shape. This truck, a little weird, and a little tear coming through right there. That's the worst of any of that. Missed a spot on the, um, whatever it's called, tenting. Slider window in the rear. Let me show you under the hood before it gets too dark to do so. Then we'll get in and we'll kind of go over some options and stuff. Carpet's in great shape. It just hasn't been shampooed, and I would wish I'd have done that, but I didn't. The roll along thing here. I'm kind of coming off. Little wear starting on that. Yeah, I didn't even wipe the dash down properly. I still got the original owner's manual. Power locks, power windows. Yes, sir. A little discoloration on those. Those get that the most. God, it's a nice looking truck. It really is. Paint's nice, the paint's clean. Pop this and show you how it looks under here. Alrighty, big bad 460. You know it. This is a Way to go, this thing will pull best anything. Pull bark off the tree, boy, I tell you. Nice truck. Clean under here. Oh, there's dust on the fan blade. That's about the worst of anything on this truck. It's got the k upgraded air filter, I believe. It's a K&N. Don't know, I'm thinking 
it was your thing, huh? Um, yeah, nice truck. Still got the sticker on the motor down there and everything. Okay, so that's under the hood. That's all this stuff. It's a nice truck. I'm gonna go over some interior options now and just kind of flip back again and say, what a beautiful pickup. Okay, inside. Here's your ignitionary keys. There's two of them on the same ring. That's a big pet peeve of mine. There's the dorky. Okay, this swings a little and it should not. So that's not good. Um, start this bad boy up. <laughs> Nice. Lights are good. Still got a button. Yep, button on the floor. Dash lights are on. The wiper motor makes a little noise. Okay. Radio works and all that good stuff, so that's good. Um, fuel, when you tap that, it goes all the way up and cuts out like lots of Fords do. It's that sending unit or what have you. Okay, windows. That one just pumps and it don't go. This one goes. Got a center console here. Get stuck on these things and that's how the other one got pulled down um, there is a CD player and the radio that works I told you the overdrive on off button is fine door latch thing is missing back there but it's working that was working that one does not go up and down so one of them does not go up and down um, I'm going to check the power steering pump. It could have a little leak or need some fluid. I'm going to check that. And you'll know in the video that's the exterior that you've probably already seen. Because, well, this is how I do. Okay, so, ferris lights are all clipped on. It is nice with the ferris lights. Light lights are all on. It's nice with the light lights. So, all that. Now, the ones that aren't working are the side ones. Now, of course, this one here is unplugged. And it is quite light. Actually, one of them isn't. Whoa, I touched it and it worked. So it probably just wasn't grounded there. So that's all good. These are not on. And it's probably because that one's unplugged and the circuit is not connected. I don't know. But the main lights work. Beautiful F350. That's your interior video. I don't know why that was a little blurry, but it was a little blurry, so, yeah, I'm sorry, that's what happened. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, one of your cab lights, clearance lights, is out with the bowl, I'll bet. Um, that's that. It is a review. Now, when my battery went dead, it was blurry. So I don't know how good I did when I did the, that just pumps, it don't go. Lock, unlock works on every door but that one. This window works fine. I've showed you everything else. I don't know what else to show you. Cruise is good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get in here and do it to it. It's got a nice set of pipes on it. And like I say, there's. I was gone and had this thing setting for about a month or two, actually three, let's say three months. It took me a little while to get it detailed, okay? It just sat here um, because the starter went out when I was doing it. I didn't have any help and I had a lot of other stuff I was doing. So it took me three months or so to get the starter 
installed. Starter's installed now. And it starts. It's just a little bit of fluid I need to check. And I didn't check it this night before I came up. I was trying to get it done right at the end of the day here to where I could get my video done for the day. Now, there's some spray on the window here. I just found it on the sale. I don't know what we sprayed on it, but it wasn't wiped down after it got detailed. Oh, it's um, when we sprayed the tires. But this is a very nice truck. Um, that light bulb is out. But those lights work. Okay, I've got about 100 cars. Got a bunch of them on my website, oneownercarguide.com. I'm gonna pull in here, and I'm going to drive this here truck to the other end of my lot. I've got this here weird board over this thing, so it's kind of a, a dunky dunky thing to get over. But it's a nice truck. It's a great driving truck. If you're looking for an F350, give me a call. This is stop looking. Call me. One of the things that doesn't work is the tachometer. Get these lights off before I forget and leave them on. XLT a Lariat, baby. It is a Lariat edition with the roll along package on top of that. Okay, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. If you're interested in an old Ford pickup truck like this, I love the square, the square body classics like this. This is probably my favorite body of a pickup truck in these years. I like them. Okay, I can't think of anything else to show you. Make sure and um, check out my website, check out all the pictures. This is the truck. One owner car guy.